Hello friends, in the last video we discussed about transient state and steady state. In this video we will go to see initial conditions and final conditions of circuit elements. Those are RLC circuit elements. Before going to see what are the initial conditions and final conditions, let's see voltages and currents across these elements. Okay. First, voltage across the resistor R is nothing but Vr of T equal to R into IR of T. This is R and this is IR of T. We know according to Ohm's law, voltage across the resistor Vr of T is equal to product of current passing through the resistor and that resistance. Okay. And from this, we can find the current flowing through the resistor IR of T. We simply uh, move this R to this side to this side. That is current IR of T is equal to Vr of T by R. This is about voltage and currents in resistor. Next come to inductor. In inductor, here voltage is L into D by DT into IL of T. IL of T is nothing but current flowing through the inductor. This suffix L indicates the inductor voltage inductance. Sorry, voltage across the inductance. Okay, oh, we get the voltage across the inductor by simply multiply, multiply this inductance with the differentiation of the current flowing through the inductor uh, by by this formula we can find the current flowing through the inductor i l of t equal to move this entire term to this side then we get 1 by l integral minus infinity t v l of t dt okay i think you have clear next c capacitor we know voltage across capacitor Vc of t equal to 1 by c integral g minus infinity to t ic of t dt. These are the standard formulas. This is the voltage across the capacitor. Uh, from this equation only we can find the voltage uh, sorry current flowing through the capacitor ic of t by moving this all terms to this side. Then we get ic of t is equal to c d by dt vc of t this is about currents and voltages in rlc elements let's see initial and final conditions of rlc elements here let's see initial and final conditions of rlc circuit elements here first consider inductor and capacitor initial conditions means uh, before switching and after switching and at the time of switching these are nothing but initial conditions yet t equal to 0 means at the time of switching at the time of switching okay t equal to 0 minus t equal to 0 minus indicates that just we switch off the supply then what is the response that is nothing but t equal to 0 minus at t equal to 0 plus means after switching after switching within the seconds what is the response the time indicates 0 plus okay 0 plus means after the switching within milliseconds after the switching 0 minus means before before the switching and t equal to 0 means at the time of switching what are the responses of inductor and capacitor we will go to see okay let's consider an inductor at t equal to 0 plus remember at t equal to 0 plus means up to that there is no current flow in the inductor at t equal to 0 plus only the sudden change of current is flowing the sudden change of current is enter in this inductor we know the sudden change of inductor always oppose the sudden change of current opposing is nothing but it act as a open circuit when t equal to 0 plus that is the sudden change of current inductor always act as open circuit see here at t equal to 0 plus inductor act as oc means open circuit let consider inductor and the current flowing through the inductor is i naught at t equal to 0 minus 0 minus means up to now the current is flowing through the inductor just i switched off just now i switched off that is indicated as 0 minus. We know inductor stores some energy. The energy in the inductors does not decrease rapidly, it decreases gradually. Okay. 
at the time of switching the ind uh, the current in the inductor is not at zero when t equal to zero minus the inductor act as a current sir current source sorry current source that current source value i not is nothing but the current flowing through the inductor okay i think you have clear current flowing through the inductor next c capacitor consider a capacitor at t equal to zero minus we know at capacitor t equal to zero minus means voltage across the capacitor equal to zero remember this point at t equal to zero minus capacitor act as a short circuit okay at t equal to zero minus and t equal to infinity also the capacitor act as a short circuit and consider here at t equal to zero plus zero plus means just to switch on the supply then the capacitor act as a voltage source what is this voltage source value means what is the voltage across the capacitor across the parallel plates of the capacitor that is the value of this voltage source at t equal to zero plus t equal to zero plus capacitor act as a voltage source and t equal to zero minus capacitor acts as a short circuit these are the these conditions are nothing but initial conditions and we have also final conditions okay final conditions means initial condition is nothing but t equal to zero plus and t equal to zero minus and final condition is nothing but t equal to infinity this final condition is also known as steady state condition okay we can call this final condition is also known as steady state condition final condition is taken at t equal to infinity we know voltage across the inductor vl equal to l di by dt consider this current i this current i is the dc current dc current means there is no variations in the current constant current if current i is a dc current then the differentiation of the constant the differentiation of constant we know the differentiation of constant is nothing but zero zero into anything zero that is voltage is zero okay at t equal to infinity voltage across the inductor is zero we know voltage is zero is nothing voltage zero means the inductor act as a short circuited remember this point here we get voltage vl equal to zero that is inductor is short circuited voltage equal to when the voltage equal to zero voltage equal to zero only when the short circuited path if that if that is open circuit then there will be having some voltage only when there is a short circuit then only we have voltage is zero next consider this is about capacitor at t equal to infinity what about capacitors okay consider here also at t equal to infinity capacitor also we know at t equal to infinity the voltage is constant at t equal to infinity voltage is constant the differentiation of constant is nothing but zero and zero into anything is zero that is ic equal to zero ic equal to zero means what is ic ic means current flowing through the capacitor if current equal to zero then the circuit is always act as a open circuit at t equal to infinity the capacitor act as open circuit because of the current flowing through the capacitor is zero at finally remember if voltage is zero then that is act as a short circuit if current is zero then that is act as a open circuit this is about initial and final conditions of the inductor and capacitor thank you thank you for watching this video okay